Here in Houston, we knew that we were going to get some winds, we were going to get some rainfall, but we didn't realize the duration, the amount of rainfall that we would get. I think it did sneak up on everybody. All of a sudden, it goes to a Cat 4 very, very quickly. So they're telling us it's going to form in the Gulf and it's going to come back over Houston. So in many ways, we're waiting and anticipating. And then the rain starts coming and the rain starts coming. In some ways, it's, it's somewhat of a hopeless feeling because everybody is stuck and they can't get anywhere. We saw flood walls being overtopped by, by water just pouring into garages. We've seen uh, flood doors that have been torn off their hinges. It's going to be hard for any community to be able to handle 50 inches of rain in four days. An engineer's primary goal is to protect public safety. got a call at 2 p.m. Sunday afternoon with a request from both the state and the federal government to try and support them in understanding where the flooded areas were going to be on a daily basis and so we were running computer models all day long to produce maps every day that they could utilize to, to figure out where to station people for emergency response. We were getting real-time rainfall amounts putting them through the model and saying this is how high the water is going to get. Every night we would run a model, turn it in, and the Corps assimilated all that information and gave that to the TDM. So for four or five days we did that continuously, updating these maps and giving to them. We were trying to help gauge some of the misinformation that they were hearing and try to help them better understand exactly what the data was, specifically for their locations and their sites. We're known for going and doing the hard projects, and we don't shy away from those. We love going and doing everything we can, especially for Harvey, being able to go and help out our clients, help out our community. That was one of the greatest things that we could go and do. For as much as we like to script things in life, this was an unprecedented storm, and so there is no script for this. When you're going out to look at buildings that have flooded, these are buildings that were never designed to be flooded. And so the buildings are being loaded in ways you never thought, and you're having to assess right there on site with first responders what the critical impacts are from flooding. First and foremost, is it safe? All right, it's safe. All right, what do we need to do to secure the site? All right, what do we need to do to figure out the extents of the damage? All right, after we know the extents of the damage, we can figure out the extents of the repair. First response was City Hall had taken on flooding and had lost power. At the same time, the toll roads had also taken on water because of the sinkhole that had developed. So I was finding my time balanced between responding to the city and responding to the county. And you see a whole bunch of different types of buildings from residential condo towers to theaters. And you think about the damage to employees, to patrons, and it's a significant impact. And what you see on the side of these driveways and sidewalks is just piles and piles of people's lives. We care about our clients. We care about our projects. You know, as engineers, we're a pretty humble group, so we, we don't tend to boast and brag about a lot of things. But being able to respond to the toll road, getting City Hall running, the mayor had tasked us with having it open for Tuesday for City Council. And everybody came together and did it. Everybody in the group has walked at least two or three flooded out buildings. To have a team that was willing to crunch all these numbers and put together all this data, and you know, they did a tremendous job. We're continuing to respond to Harvey. A number of clients have now realized that they need assistance with determining their flood vulnerabilities. This is not just about numbers on a computer screen. To get information to people who can help, it's another thing to be out there and realize these are real people who are affected. It's not just numbers.